People are gonna start booing us. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Good choice, Gabe. Comet, Cupid, and Jonner and Blitz. But do you recall <laughs> These kids every day. the most famous reindeer of all? You want that too? Oh, uh, I gotta do it if we got two votes. It's on Easter. Yeah, I've been on Easter. I think I can hold my breath for one more Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking the link to watch my newest video. Um, those first two clips that I added when we we're in the water uh, and the Christmas songs were playing, I just thought those were the cutest things ever. And my ne those are my nephews, both of them. And they're just so fun, loving and extroverted and just a joy to be around so thought I'd include that hopefully it puts a smile on your face like it continues to put on mine each time I watch those little clips and then um, the clips with my own kids doing karaoke with their grandpa my dad has done karaoke my entire life I never got into singing my kids probably won't either but it's cool to see them stepping outside of their shell and doing something uncomfortable to them um, and it's it, it just shows growth because they're extremely introverted very very shy um, so it makes me kind of proud to see them stepping out and doing that even though it's just in front of family but it's still a solid first step if anyone here is new to this channel and you like what you see please click the like button if you think that anyone else may benefit from what they see or hear in this video please share it and if you want to see more please subscribe any questions just comment below I read all the comments and try to reply to uh, any questions that you guys may have as well. In this video, I want to talk about uh, what I've been doing uh, leading up to this point, uh, my reps and stuff like that, my scheme, and then uh, talk about plateaus. And if you're experiencing a plateau, if you haven't had a, any gains in a while, what tips I have that may help you out. All right, with that said, I am really happy to announce that I am not going to continue doing the 315 sets. So I've been doing 315 for what seems like a couple of months now because, like I said before, I've been trying to build my confidence back up ever since the COVID closures and having almost seven months off without any gym, any weights barely doing anything but core at home my confidence level just wasn't there and neither was my strength um, so I decided that I'm gonna build back up and once I hit 315 that's been kind of the roof of my um, sets in the past few videos I mean 
I'll go to like 345 here and there when I have extra motivation and really feeling it, but really every set's been centralized around that 315 number. Well, it seems like overnight, but obviously it wasn't. It was two months coming, but like the light switch, the one workout I went into the gym recently, it's probably a week ago, and the 315 just felt so much easier. I got it five times, and so I did that for a couple more sessions, and it just felt like the right time to finally move past it. I think my confidence in my own strength coming back is there, and so I want to start doing the pyramid scheme again since I feel like that's what helped me get to the higher weights. But my point in all this is, you know, even though it may be a little bit boring doing the same weight week after week, uh, I think that your body is getting acclimated to heavier weights. As long as you're doing a weight that's heavy enough for you, and in, in my opinion, that's 80% of your one rep max, seems to be the magic number for me, and you're doing enough, um, enough reps, within a workout which in my opinion is at least 20 reps uh, in this video i did 22 just because that very last um set i think i ended at like 18 and or 19 and i didn't want to stop there i wanted at least 20. so what i did was i did one more set of three reps not just one or two i i, I paid it off with interest in that next set uh since i couldn't get the full 20. So that last point of 20, at least 20 reps of at least 80% of your one rep max kind of leads me into the plateau question. I've been getting that a lot. People have hit plateaus. They haven't had any gains recently. And that's one of the things that I would uh, recommend is the 20 reps of at least 80% uh, of your one rep max. The other thing I would look at is how frequently you're benching. I, if you're, if you're doing one day a week, I'd recommend moving that to two, eventually to three. I feel like three days a week of bench, if that's where you want to strengthen is your bench, then I think three days a week is the magic number, or at least it has been for me. Um, and then the last thing is try paused reps. I feel like that has done so much for my bench, if not gaining strength, at least maintaining what I've what I have um, it just builds you know it builds the hardest part of of a bench press which is the bottom it works all of the little muscles that may not be visible on your body but with that pause rep or the dead stop rep if you're taking two three seconds before you um, you know press off your chest you're not using any momentum and your body is doing that weight from a dead stop which I don't think there's anything else that um, is as effective as a paused rep so if you've hit a plateau try those three things out give it some time it may not be a day or a week or even two weeks but if you keep at it I really feel like it's gonna it's gonna help you get over that plateau with that said, I don't know everything. I'm still learning from you guys, and I'd appreciate if you guys could provide some comments, some feedback on what has helped you in the past. What has helped you get over a plateau when you're at that stage where you're not gaining any strength? What has helped you? Um, I know it helped me to read your replies, and I really feel like it would help other people who uh, read through the comments as well. So, if you have a minute, please give us your feedback. If not, feel free to come back to the video later on and provide your feedback. The important thing is that we uh, continue to try to help each other out on because each of us are on a strength uh, journey. If you're watching this, we all have the same goal in place and we should try to help each other get there. So thank you in advance for your feedback. As always, thank you so much for watching my channel. I do not deserve the following that I have, but I really appreciate you all being here. And uh, I'm looking forward to continuing these uploads for you with the next one coming Sunday, sometime on Sunday before International Chess Day. Thank you again and have a great day.
She is totally cool with us. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Wow. <laughs>